Today on the Automation Minute, I want to take a look at a question that came in about historical data logging in the Panel View Plus. Now, this question is from a previous viewer, reader. His name is Layton. And this time he's saying, hey, I can't keep my trend to be historical, right? And that's a common problem. A lot of people forget, and that's what this article is about. I'll, I'll put a link in the description. But basically, a lot of people forget to, you know, they create the data log, they get it to start up on startup. Um, they build the trend, but they forget to link the trend to the data log, okay? So this is that's pretty common, right? It's easy to forget, very easy to overlook. Um, so, um, but if you, if, if you did that correctly, right, and you're not seeing historical data, well, it could be a couple things. First of all, one thing I used to love showing people is the difference between the um, on-screen buffer, right, and the data log. So I usually set the data log up to log every five seconds. I'd set the screen to buffer data every one second, right? And I'd give the screen and the data log very large buffers. Then I'd let it run for a minute. And I'd leave the page and come back. And you'll see all the old data is every five seconds because it was read out of the screen, closed and reopened. So the data was read out of the data log, which was logging every five seconds. And then the new stuff coming in would be coming in every one second. It gave a great visual, especially if you turn on the markers for the pens for the graph. So each pen that I turn the markers on, you know, give one a square, give one a triangle and so on. That way you can see every data point. And so when you go back and come back, you see all the new stuff's coming every once a second, right? And But all the old stuff is only coming in every five seconds, right? So it's a great way to demonstrate uh, the difference between the on-screen buffer and the historical data. Of course, the on-screen buffer is much smaller than the historical data. And, um, you know, you can set a screen to stay open on top or, you know, there's tricks you can do. Panel View Plus is limited what you can do there, but there are some tricks you can do, like always updating in the background to try to keep more of that on-screen buffer there. But um, at some point, you know, if you're logging every second, you're going to run out of, you're just going to run out of memory, right? Because this is a this is an HMI. It's not a PC with a terabyte of data, right? Data, a hard drive. So, um, you know, I was kind of curious. He said he lost his data when he went from like a one hour time span to a 30 uh, day time span. Now, there's a couple different things that could be going on there, right? If you're using templates, there's a couple of things in those templates that can mess that up, right? But my kind of my guess was the biggest thing was, and I kind of asked him, I was like, well, how many tags do you have? How often are you logging them? And what's the total size of your data log, right? Because the newest panel view plus is they allowed you for a long time now a million data points total for all tags in your data log. And I think he came back with something. Again, you look at the link if you want the details, but he's had something like 12 tags and he was logging them every second. And, you know, for a total of, you know, based on his total number of tags, his, the file of his log, he was uh, the file size of his log, I should say. He was getting about 4,000 seconds of data for each tag. And so I kind of try to explain to him, like, think about 4,000 seconds, right? That's less than half a day. So if you're looking at an hour historical data, it looks beautiful. The whole chart is filled up. If you go to 30 days, it's really hard to see half a day's worth of data on a, you know, especially the screen's only this big, right? So half a day is going to be this tiny sliver over on the side. So I said, you know, you got to check that. You got to take all these things into account. First of all, why you didn't set it to a million day of data points is beyond me. But even with a million divided by, well, if you had 12 tags, you know, you can work it out how, how long you'll be able to see that data. And, uh, you know, of course, the best practice is why are you recording data that's repetitive, right? So you want to do the heartbeat with, with a delta. You know, you only want to record the, the data if it changes significantly. And then you want to do a heartbeat maybe once a minute just so you have something on the chart to see, you know. But in any case, so that was his question. I thought it would be fun to kind of walk through that process of answering it with you and uh, kind of explaining my answer to him. And uh, if you have your own questions, you can post them on any of the articles up at theautomationblog.com or there's actually a question link at the top of the screen. Now, we can't guarantee to get to every single question. I know I have questions in my inbox that I just haven't gotten to yet. But if we do, then they'll be covered right here on the show or on the blog um, uh, or both, maybe. Now, if you need an immediate answer, I do go to Locals every day to answer questions for all supporters up there. It's $2 for 30 days. So uh, that kind of filters out all the spam bots and whatnot. So uh, feel free. You can see some of the members up there. They, they sign up for a month, and we've done really deep dives into their, their technical questions. 
You can also, there's an option to send me a direct message if it's confidential. You don't want anybody else knowing what you're asking. And of course, you got my training courses over at theautomationschool.com where I support all my students for life uh, who buy any of my courses. Uh, you know, you buy a course on control logics, ask me any control logics question you have. I'll try to cover it. You know, if it's something I don't cover in the course, then, you know, it's limited what I can do because I have nothing to refer back to. You know, I can't say, well, in lesson five, I did that, right? But I'll try to help, try to help everybody. And with that, I just want to wish you all a very safe, happy, and healthy week. And until next time, my friends, peace.